morning guys welcome to today's video it is freezing out i should have another sweater but i'm freezing movie i love it it's not done yet it's not done yet but i love it at least you can get on on this side yeah so i have more dirt i can get more dirt so okay, sophie his pool is right there and i was like gonna dig in the grass but the dirt was easier yeah i told you so sophie decided that she wanted to build this a pool kind of into the ground for her duff. She came out here and she kind of dug it down a little. We're just going to fill the land up a bit. The duck can get in and out uh, and she can still empty it when she needs to. I've literally just lost my pig but the sounds that the, are coming from in here tell me that she's in here. Okay, I gotta go get a coat. I'm freezing. It's warm once you're working, so just work. <laughs> it's warm once you're working. Are you cold? You know it's cold when she follows me around. She when she heads for the house. You can always tell the weather by where your pig heads. Come on. Come on. All the complaining I did, honestly, she's getting so much better. She's getting so much more responsive to me. She's still really driven by food, though. and She's gotten so big. Like, look at how big she is. When she runs, she runs really funny now because she's so big. Can you guys tell? It's so weird when I look out into the arena area um, because I see gra green grass. Like... It hasn't been green for so long and now everywhere I look it's so beautiful and so green. I want to put that somewhere. Like I want to grab that. Side. Is it heavy? Well, one person it's heavy. Uh, wait, how am I going to carry it? Ooh, don't hit me. All right. No, don't push cuz I hate that noise. It's heavy. I love it though. Honestly, so cold. I just want heat now. I got the sun. I got the green grass. I just want heat. So he's making a little pond. Ooh. It's cold. Oh, there they are. In the summer, whenever I want to sit and just watch the horses and then relax, I sit here. And it's always nice and warm. But it's not warm now. Look at, can you see what's different, what's wrong with this picture? Who's missing? No one. Oh, I see, she's behind Storm's legs down there. So there's a pony here on one side of the fence where she's not supposed to be, and then all the rest over here. Penny's looking at me. I'm, my hands are frozen. Like I need mitts today, that's how cold it is. Whew. So I always loved when you could have, oh my gosh, what the heck, Ellie, get over here. How is she getting all the way over there? Ellie, get your butt over here. Good job. Good job. Sit, sit, here, come here, sit. I met a lady that had like five chihuahuas and when I saw them, my heart kind of stopped because I have such a passion in my heart for chihuahuas. And then I told her, you know, I had chihuahuas most of my life and then now I have a Yorkie. <laughs> and I always felt my whole life like Yorkies were like a step up from chihuahuas. They were like the elite kind of little dog. And But now I see that they're just different and it's what your heart wants. And after having both, my heart still wants a chihuahua eventually one day. Not now. I have Ellie. And I'm so thankful for Ellie. I'm thankful for all the things that she's taught me how like she's taught me so much everything that comes into your life is meant to teach you and it's just such an incredible opportunity to learn when you're open to learning look at how green everything looks and it just looks so beautiful out here even though it's freezing <laughs> soon i'll be complaining about the heat you guys don't worry she's a big girl i know but i love her she's like a little fat roly poly she's not super fat though yeah she has a wider body do you know how to tell if she's fat <laughs> she found hers. We'll never do. So uh, look back here at her bum. She literally has. Two tests. No. Uh, she's not pregnant. No, okay. she. <laughs> that's not how you tell if they're pregnant. But look, she has hardly no fat on her on her bum at all. And when you look down here, um, she doesn't have like a big split. <laughs> With your hand. Wow. Okay, let's go. Anyway, she's not skinny. <laughs> that's for sure. She could stand to like stay where she is and maybe get a little bit more fit. I've had questions for so, oh, this is why. She found grain. 
<laughs> you crazy girl. Willa loves jumping and working. Yeah, she needs to do some work. So she is a little bit bigger than well, I would like her. Slim when she gets fat. Move. And I you can tell by her neck. I actually love this thing. I'm trying to figure out what I want to use it for. And I actually have some things that I want Sam to do for me today in the goat that field. That would be a good quail thing. This would be a good quail thing. It wouldn't be, though. Because the only thing that confuses me about it is, like, ventilation. How do you breathe in there? So, oh, I see. Oh. So, I mean, it's not even... We'd have to put some mesh here. So whatever the person had in it before us was something that needed to be able to get in by itself. Like the pigs could go in there even, or a pig. Pigs are too fast. No, one pig could fit in there. Your pig is like double that size. No, my pig could fit in there just to sleep. You? Anyway, it needs a little bit of work, but I'm excited to use it. So I need to get this figured out right away, like soon. My hands are literally frozen. Like I can't even get over it. My hands are I, I have this weird thing about my hands though. I can't be outside if my hands are cold. So I'm gonna run and grab some gloves. I'll be right back. Come on, Ellie. Even when my little pig disappears, Ellie is always by my side. And that's one thing that chihuahuas do not do. She's always with me. It's horse brushing day on the day by day farm. She'll be a lot thinner too. <laughs> She gets all these pounds. I know. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I saw so many horses at that sale, big horses, that were completely shed out. Which is well, so weird. Storm looks completely shed out. Yeah, well, Storm looks completely shed out. I guess it depends. He had a blanket on the whole time. Yeah, I guess that's what it depends on, is if you are blanketing them she had a blanket on too but she grows a nice coat so the only reason that she gets a blanket i know people get upset when you blanket horses um the only reason that we even started blanketing our horses well there's a couple of reasons but the big one is that for her she started to be shivering every single winter she would just shiver so that's why we started blanketing her is because she would be shivering in the winter and we didn't want her to be cold she's older she's aging she's 20 is she 21 or 20 She's probably 21 this year. 21, this little thing. Our herd is aging, is aging, you guys. Like, it doesn't seem like we've had horses for long, but it feels like forever, and they're aging. Like, Penny is 18, Storm is 17. I have the oldest and youngest. Yep, the oldest and the youngest. She's 21, and uh, Buttercup there, what's her name? <laughs> Honey. Yeah, I'm having a goat buttercup. I know. I love that name. So you know what? That's so so funny. I've been making a list because every time I come up with a or I, every time I hear a really neat name for a goat, I think, oh, that is a name that I want to name a goat. And then I forget it. So every time I come up with a name now or I hear a name, I write it down. I have this whole huge list of goat names that I can't wait to tell you guys. Buttercup would be such a cute one. So for the goat enthusiasts on our channel, um, I talked to Sophie's new show goats owner today. I'm going to tell you guys all the things I love about her. So one, she is registered, which is what I want to. Oh my gosh. Why are you always cutting their tails? They don't grow that fast, they Sophie. Do. Her tail is way too long. You're not. Oh yeah, it's a goat. But anyways, so uh, she comes from a really good lines. In fact, the stud that we had before, um, he is, they share a grandfather. So on one side, so um, so that's super cool. But also she's, so you know how goats typically have twins yeah. as they get older? They typically have one baby the first year, two babies the next year. Well, some goats are like hyper ovulators. They come from lines that ovulate more, more. And so her mom had three babies the first time. Usually you have one baby the first time. She had three babies the first time, Four babies, her second freshening. So she comes from like a line that has lots of babies, which I don't really want four babies, <laughs> but I like triplets. Four just two seems like too much. Fine. Two are fine. Two is fine. Sophie, yeah, two is fine. Two is the best. They each get a nipple. There's no problems, but I mean, four would be so fun one time. The fact that she's going to be a show goat though, that she's probably not going to ra raise her baby. Sophie, you're going to have to raise them. She better have one. <laughs> have one anyways i love that about her i love how she looks like you sometimes you get really good genetics but you get like not a very or a fancy goat and she's super flashy and i love that about her 
Um, so the other thing I love about her is that her last, her mom's last freshening, she had a quadruplet daughters. So I love that about her. Like everything that I want in a goat, her confirmation is really good. All that kind of stuff. Like she comes from good lines. Um, and that's the most important thing, but she, her mom has baby girls all the time. So that's so good. Like, I don't know. Watch as we get her and she has all boys. Yeah, we'll get her and she'll have all boys. That's just our luck. Anyways, I'm excited about her. I can't wait to show you guys a picture of her. Like, she is so cute. So, 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 yeah. So, if he's already named her, you want to tell us what her name is? Not yet. You got to wait uh, till okay, she wait till she comes. She comes. Do you know when she comes? Mm, what's, 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 what's six months? July 1st. Three months. Clo I was close. I wonder why she sells them so late. That's three and a half months. That's like four months the lady waits to sell them. But anyway, longer is better. I appreciate that. Like waiting till they get to 20 pounds is the best anyways before she weans them. So I'm okay with that. A lot of the goat shows start, are starting to start then anyways. And I think you can't really show a goat until they're six months. I think they're six, I think it's six months. So anyway, we're excited regardless. We're excited to get her. We're excited about everything about her. I'm excited for Rosie's babies, but also Sophie has another horse to try. So I don't know how it's going to go. I don't know if it's going to work out. I just know that she has one that she's going to try and we're super excited about it. Also, it's Gabby's birthday this week. Like we have a lot of fun stuff in the works. It's Gabby's birthday. I'm super excited. She is on the verge of getting her driver's license. So we're going to see what happens. I'll let you guys know when it gets a little closer to that and it will let you know if she gets her driver's license. I can't imagine her not getting it. She's just that kind of a girl. She's very serious and takes everything seriously that she embarks on. I love it. The ground is so dry. Sam could drag this. Sam finally fixed the, the goat fences good enough that they can't get out. Oh, <laughs> Tilly's like, you better get away, you little dog. What in the world are you doing? They flipped the pool and are making it as a bed. I miss just sitting in the, in the goat field. I feel like we hardly ever do it anymore. As soon as he sits here, he starts chewing his head. Yeah, as soon, he's just so happy to be with this girl. They're all doing so much better. I watch videos of people who bottle feed instead of dam raise. And I like feel, I, I like almost cry <laughs> just watching their videos. But Selfie's new goat is going to be bottle fed too because her, oh, that's that's another thing. Her, her dam has an udder like no other. Like I have never, none of our goats have an udder like this one. Like it is so beautiful. I cannot wait to show her. Okay, so when Sophie was digging the hole for her pool she found this little bottle this farm has little bottles all over it we found one last summer too this one says 1931 on the bottom of it not sam's gonna love this 1931 you guys and look if you look in it you can see it's all sparkly and it's so cool like i don't know if you can see it it's sparkly in there though it's on the outside it's sparkly is it? It looks like it's on the inside, but no, it's on the outside. Sophie's got it all over her hands. Isn't that cool though? 1931. It is afternoon. Hey, get over here! Get over here, you crazy dogs. We got these two out here with us, and then Ruby is right there. And then there's Sam <laughs> in the apple tree. He is trying to to Fix it up so that it has better, so it has better apples this year. All the dead branches. All the dead branches. Do you guys remember how we found the little gnome garden over here? Yeah, Sam wants to fix it up. What an adorable little gnome waterer. Actually, it needs, it's got a hole. It's too bad because that'd be so good for the birds. But. I actually used to love birds and then now that I have chickens and I worry about them bringing diseases so I don't welcome them as much as I used to. This is what the goat barn looks like from over here. I don't, I can't really tell in the garden in the camera but it looks really pretty just looking down past the house to the goat barn. And then I love that little bush down there because I love those bushes. They're so bright and vibrant. 
and just like that daisy's out <laughs> just depends on the time of day actually it's daisy and ellie you are so cute you are the cutest puppy so oddly daisy likes the chickens she spends time with the chickens she goes down there she's down there right now with all the chickens come on all right piggy I leave the TV on, I'm done with your sad eyes I can take another night with you on like this So let's go, I'm sure you can take it You've been crying over him for a lifetime So if you don't You have a lot of hair still here Dirt and hair, you are messy Woo, dust is just flying it's all dirt he must have just rolled wow. do you guys remember when everybody thought storm had hives and i kept saying no it's like pocked hair it's where his hair flattened down from the blanket and then he was scratching himself and he pulled up all these little pieces because i checked underneath his, his hair and he was fine well he has that again right now but a lot less of it because he has a lot less hair and his hair is go Ellie <laughs> and his hair is up or his hair is not flattened by his blanket right now Aww. she's like I'm coming uh oh everybody wants to come here I'll take you out definitely not looking skinny they're all kind of on the chunkier side they think they're coming in I should go I'm stressing them out don't come in don't come in baby she is so cute sometimes I just want to spend like a relaxing half hour outside and work in the garden clean the garden and do so many other things but then I have animals and they never let me do that it's like crazy right now I lost my pig the horses uh, think they're going inside, so they're acting crazy. But Sam redug my garden, so I'm excited about that. I have to come out here and get all the little pieces of grass out. It's going to be my weekend job, hopefully, if it's warm enough. I can't do any of that kind of stuff if I have animals out here, though, because I lose them. I'm always worried about them. I'm worried about Ellie running somewhere because she likes to run somewhere on occasion, not very often. Ruby will run anywhere she can. And my pig is gone. And Willow, who got brushed today, is scratching her butt on the fence. The good news about my pig is that once he get, once she gets in here, she can't get out. And this is where she usually ends up coming. All right, this is my last spot to check. Oh, great. My pig is really gone. All hands on deck. I lost my pig. I do not know where she was. <laughs> Oh, this is always what happens. Every time I call an alarm, she comes. <laughs> come on. Come on. Everybody out. Come on. <laughs> she just got to scratch her bum. <laughs> Get out there. <laughs> She's so excited. Get out. Come on. Oh. Ah. Okay. Get. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to pick you up. She's so sassy. Uh, listen, don't go out there. Oh. Great, now she's out in the horse field. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, piggy, come on, come on. Oh my God, she fell. Oh my gosh, gosh. <laughs> Oh no! Every I try to grab her. Grab her. Yeah, you're caught. Don't you know that you? 